Now, it's the first of the two League Two matches for today. Macclesfield against Lincoln for a place in the playoff final. Despite Macclesfield's best efforts, it's that goal Lincoln still hold as their advantage. Keith Alexander will hope it's enough to help them to the Millennium Stadium. But for a place in the League Two playoff final, Macclesfield one goal down against Lincoln City. It's live from Moss Rose. So far in these playoffs, the lowest placed teams have all gone through to the final. If that continues, Lincoln and tonight Northampton will go through today. But if is the biggest word in football. Gary Johnson's Yeovil were League Two champions. No ifs or buts about that. And we'll hear from Gary at half time. It's time now, though, to go for the start of the match at Moss Rose. Macclesfield against Lincoln. Commentators Gary Bertles and Bill Leslie. Thank you very much indeed, George. All week, the four semi-finalists in League Two have had to look on at the pain and the joy the playoffs can provide. West Ham and Preston, Hartlepool and Sheffield Wednesday are all heading to Cardiff next week after their semi-final wins. And by the end of play here, so will either Macclesfield or Lincoln. Well, goals are a must for Macclesfield. It's as simple as that. And as such, no surprise to see a more attacking look to Brian Horton's side. Midfielder Danny Whittaker is dropped to the bench to give on loan Rochdale striker Kevin Townsend his first start for six weeks. Matthew Tipton moves back into midfield, but expected to join the front two as Macclesfield look for goal. Just the one key absentee, that's Graham Potter. He's still ruled out with his Achilles problem. Macclesfield will start with a 4-4-2 and in Morley, Barris and Swales have three commanding no-nonsense centre-halves while Carragher at left-back will get forward for them. In midfield, box to box from Harsley and McIntyre very combative alongside him. Tipton, he'll just play a little bit further forward behind the front two and Bailey loves to get forward, delivers good quality. Up front, parking, strong in the air, not a bad touch and Townsend alongside him very quick, plays in the channels very well. Keith Alexander doesn't have too much scope for change in his squad, but Franny Green is fit again after an ankle injury. He comes back into the side for Derek Asamoah, despite a lively first-leg performance. That's the only change to the side that held on to their one-goal advantage at Sinsel Bank a week ago. Can they do it for another 90 minutes this afternoon? Different system for Lincoln, a 3-4-3, and in McCoon, Morgan and Futcher have three commanding centre-halves in their own box, with three difficult opponents in the oppositions. In midfield, Peter Gain, the playmaker in there for them, alongside Butcher, who's box to box. Sandwith delivers great quality from the left-hand side, and McCauley very dangerous at set pieces. Up front, a lot of pace with Green on the right flank. Fletcher, who's good movement, good pace and good touch. And Yeo gets in the channels very well, very prolific this season. Eventually penalties, but they were 2-0 up, and Tramier got back in the game to 2-all. It's glanced on by Butcher. Morley had to throw himself at it to get it away. Carragher helps the ball on his way. Richard Butcher still only 24. Started off his career at Northampton Town. He'll take on Southend in the second playoff later on this afternoon. Oh, how good is it to have somebody like him in your side? We know what the back four are all about, the back three. They're all tall, big lads, dangerous in the opponent's box. And Parkins livid with the referee here. I think he claims there might have been a push by McCauley. You see it floated in. Here he is at the far post. And does he get on the back of the defender? It's a terrific header. Was it behind? And the linesman gave it, the referee didn't give it. We see it come off the post. Certainly looked in. They thought it was in. Terrific leap at the far post, a hint of maybe a push, goes beyond the defender, I think he bounces straight on the line, that's clearly in. I don't know why they're complaining about that. The referee couldn't see it, depended on his linesman. Lovely downward header, you see across the line, that has bounced across the line, that is in. 
no surprise to see a set piece pay off for Lincoln City. Gareth McCauley, he's enjoying the playoffs, and so too a Lincoln, no doubt that it is effective, and there's no doubt that all the players know their roles. Yeo, this is Butcher getting forward well. Yeo's continuing his run into the centre. Tipton's challenge hasn't halted the forward progress, and a touch was required from Fettis to uh, ensure that the danger has drifted away. Well, he's not going to touch according to the referee. Butcher, we know he's boxed the box, gets to the byline very well. I thought he could have touched the keeper, but no complaints from Lincoln. Deceived him in the air, Fettis. Towson, McIntyre. Frustrations don't get the better of him. That is it, that's the word frustration. He, he clearly feels there was something wrong with the goal, then he feels he should have had a foul a couple of minutes ago. And you can see it here, there's only one thing he's going to do go for the player, and he gets him. Some lays prone on the floor here. This was a genuine attempt for the ball, it was just Townsend's pace and it got him in there and, and, and made the tackle look as it did. Far worse than it probably was in the end. I mean, he's going to get a yellow card for it, and you've got to say he deserves it. But I think directly for Yeo. Here is Simon Yeo. Good work by Yeo. The lunge went in. He didn't go down there. Butcher now. Deflected just wide. Well, good skill here from Butcher. I thought he was going to take it on his right foot. Yeo does ever so well here. Gets in the box. They can't touch him there. Gets his shot away, good block. Look at the ability from Butcher here. Just flicks it over. Good drive, decent block. Lucky block. The backside of a defender. That's a good strike on him, Butcher. Strange to see he's only got a couple of goals so far this season. Then from dominating the corner count. Without doubt, they'll certainly want a better start to the second half as the home side. They never got out the blocks to start with. Lincoln were aggressive and just put them on the back foot, turned them early on, and they got the dividends. Here's Butcher. Go. Parsley. Again, got a toe in to get it to Butcher. Game again. And can get a little bit lucky as it falls to Butcher once more. The spin on the ball wasn't kind for Harsley. Morgan to uh, clear the danger away here. Yeah. Sandwich back in support. Now Butcher might have a go from here. Oh, there's a lot of good work in midfield. Watch it, they keep possession well. I thought they could have put it in a bit early, they didn't choose to. It's a long way out, another touch there. And there's confident of efforts. His 24 Butcher has played every single minute of every single game so far this season for Lincoln. For Butcher, back in by McCauley, and up and under for Morley to deal with. McCauley, his two goals look to have taken Keith Alexander's side to the Millennium Stadium. Forward by Butcher, offside against Asamoah. Minutes have been played, and the three minutes much longer will Phil Crossley allow. There's the answer. Lincoln have done it. They're on their way back to South Wales for the second time in the last three seasons. Congratulations to Keith Alexander and to Lincoln and to Gareth McCauley. He only got five goals all season, but two of them have come at the most important time. For Brian Horton, though, his first ever taste of the playoffs ends in disappointment. Macclesfield, who were so nearly relegated last season, credit to them for making their season last so long. Desperate disappointment for the Silkmen. But Lincoln City now have a real chance of ending their playoff heartache.
of the last two years and making it all the way to League One. Well, you have to say they deserved it first half. They came with the right attitude. They weren't we'll going to sit by the South End and Northampton in the League Two final in Cardiff next Saturday afternoon. 1 1, it finished on the afternoon, but importantly, 2 1 on aggregate. Lincoln are going to Cardiff. Great scenes, over 2,000 Lincoln fans able to go to Moss Rose and cheer their team on. And Gary Johnson with me. Um, great for Keith Alexander, more than anybody else, I think, because the guy had his health problems, came back again. This is their third playoff season in a row for them. And back at Cardiff. It's a great achievement for him, and uh, he's a lovely fellow as well, so uh, he deserves it. And uh, Brian Orton will be disappointed, but... Uh, Keith goes to the final and uh, what they do now, it's, it's always a fantastic, magnificent day. OK, let's hear from a couple of the Lincoln heroes, Gareth McCauley, who scored the goal, and, and Richard Bush is alongside him as well. Let's go down there and David Craig. Richard, you can hear what the fans think about it, what it's like for the players. Yeah, it's brilliant, it's brilliant, you know... Uh, 20, 20 minutes to go with Addison and it cost big time, but we just get work out of it all season, and uh, I think we deserve to be in the final. What about the man alongside you here, Gareth? Two goals in the tie. I know, yeah, uh, we're starting a bit on him, actually. We were talking about it, but uh, he's brilliant in the corners. He's very dangerous, and he scored two, so he has a match winner. Gareth, there was a little bit of uh, the upset on the Macclesfield bench about your goal, but no doubts in your mind that it should stand. Oh, definitely. I've uh, made the run and got above him, so I have a... a, a, a the good header down into the bottom corner, so uh, delayed it. You were, looked as you were coasting at one stage, but then Macclesfield made some changes and made it very difficult in the last 15 minutes. Yeah, they've changed the shape. They're a good team, good passing team, and they've came at us as we expected. Uh, but we've held our shape, so we haven't dug deep, so we haven't deserved to uh, go through on the day. Huge day next weekend. Do you feel it could be your year this time for Lincoln? Yeah, after the lads have uh, had the disappointment the past two years, uh, we really believe that we're going all the way this time. Well, Richard, final word for you next week, big week at the Millennium Stadium. Uh, yeah, we got it two years ago and I think a lot of us froze, but hopefully we've got experience now. Hopefully we'll go there next week and uh, do the business. Well, enjoy it. You are the Powerade man of the match. Many congratulations. Cheers, thank you. Sir. Cheers. That's right, two years ago they lost 5-2 to Bournemouth. In